Hello Gemini, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for October the 7th through to the 13th. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe and comment if that's what you'd like to do. You know I love and appreciate you also very, very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So Gemini, let's take a look at what spirit your angels and guides would like to bring through for the week ahead. For Gemini, please. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. And it is a general reading, remember, so please take what resonates for you personally and leave what doesn't. This is where you're at currently, Gemini. This is what's below you, what's behind you, what's above you and what is coming in towards you. So let's take a look at your first message. Block out distractions. And it says your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So someone or something is distracting you and taking you away from your purpose or your task at hand this week, Gemini. I'm getting a sense that you really, that some of you really would like to remain distracted for some reason. It could be procrastination. You may just be really involved with a particular situation or person and you may be avoiding doing something else because it's not as fun or it's not as interesting. But Spirit is bringing through an interesting message here, Gemini, because I'm getting a sense that when you focus on what you're meant to be doing, those things that have been niggling you, that you know you just need to get on with it, you just need to do it, you're going to really have a positive change. You're going to um, bring about some really wonderful energies in your life. So for some of you, it's going to be larger in nature and it's going to be um, going to go further reaching into the future and for others it's going to be smaller things um, just a peace of mind knowing that that's not weighing on you anymore this type of thing but I do get a sense it's very important this week uh, to help you move forward in a way that is right for you so very positive energy coming through there for you Gemini important to refocus and realign your energies let's take a look at your second card here and we have gum nut blossom and the key word is contentment. You're going to be very content, calm and you're going to be very focused and very mindful of what's going on around you. I feel once you get on point, once you block out those distractions, when you re evaluate things and get back onto point you're going to feel this energy around you and I'm feeling that for some of you when it's a larger thing it's a larger thing that you've been um, avoiding or um, you know you may just not have gotten around to it yet you know it does feel like for some of you this is something you know intuitively that you would really like to do but you have for whatever reason, it just hasn't been the right time or you've got other things going on. You haven't been able to dedicate time to do it. And I feel that if you are able to start at least a little bit, doesn't have to be full, fully wholeheartedly everything in this week, but just begin to start to focus on this thing that you have been thinking about intuitively knowing that you would like to move toward I feel like you're going to win big you're going to hit the jackpot you're going to really take off with this okay you're going to take off so this is very important and I feel that's why spirit is bringing it through to you to bring about this contentment in the short term and the long term And we have Celeste and it says a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So that's the energy I'm feeling for some of you. It can be this large, a new home, a new work environment, a new relationship, a new friendship. 
um, more abundance financially okay so this is the change that's going to come about and I feel this is confirmation from spirit saying that yes you can do this and that you will be successful in your endeavors if you just give it the time that you need and we have the coral angel feather show a friend you care today and the angels understand the importance of friendship and ask that you make an effort today to remind a friend how loved they are. This is important this week, Gemini, to connect with others. You may have maybe a long lost friend. You may have been out of contact for a while. It may be someone closer to you that you work with every day, but showing that generosity is going to come back to you threefold. And so this is important to put that energy out this week and then you're going to receive energy back. And it may not even be necessary for you to go out of your way to do this. I feel like it's going to just happen naturally and evolve naturally for, for some of you. So this is about relationships and about building stronger relationships with others. And I feel this may be important um, in terms of moving forward and achieving what you want here in terms of um, that bigger change that I see coming up for you. So that networking, that interaction may be um, necessary. Um, you may find that you gain information or support from this person that you reach out to this week. Where are you currently, Gemini? We have the world. So you are completing something, completing a project, a task. You're harmonizing a relationship or a circumstance in your life. You're coming full circle with someone or something. You are moving into a new phase. This is a cyclical energy of endings and new beginnings. You're tying off loose ends so then you can begin brand new. It may be that what you have been uh, not focusing on is about tying off loose ends and, and making sure things are watertight within, um, within a situation, with a relationship, and maybe with contracts and things like this as well. So let's take a look at what is below you. We have temperance, and this is about moderation. So this energy has been in your past and around you currently as well for some of you. Moderation, making sure that things are balanced and in harmony. And that energy fits very well in with the world card here where you're bringing something to fruition, to wholeness. You're wanting to start something new very soon, but you're having to blend the energies or the personalities or um, the, the choices, the decisions. You're blending them to make something new. This may also be about patience for some of you. So you may have also had to be very patient in your past. I see that you've tried to blend someone or something in your life, into your life, and you have been successful for the most part. Now it's time to culminate that energy and to bring about something new. And we have strength in your past. So this is about taking care of yourself, having the strength and fortitude to overcome obstacles and challenges. And that's what I'm seeing you have had to do. And you've been very successful at doing it, Gemini, because look where you are now. You're now coming to the end of a phase here or the end of a situation and you're moving on and you're carrying, um, you're carrying that strength and that ability to be open-hearted and balanced in a situation and fair and reasonable forward. So you've learned these things, I feel. And we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords indicates that something is on the down low. You're not necessarily telling people about this change. You are looking at where everyone else is, but you're wanting to take a new direction. I'm also seeing this as being linked into you wanting to walk away from something. It may be linked into this distraction or this circumstance that's taking you off point. And it, it's not necessarily a bad thing here, Gemini. It's just taking you off point because you could be doing so much more or so much better or seeing so many more improvements in your life if you were to, if you were to um, get what... Get what needs to get done here first and then start to move on. And we have the moon energy coming in towards you. So this is the cyclical nature of things. 
it may be confusing somewhat because the moon often means that there is a path to be traveled which can be difficult it can mean that there are very deep emotions involved here with this change um, I am seeing ultimately you're going to get the windfall the wonderful energy and abundance that you want come through and you're coming toward the energy of going down a new path and it's the cyclical change of things that may be confusing or maybe may be difficult to move in toward and that's why you've been wanting to walk away from this or you haven't been communicating fully with others or others haven't been communicating fully with you and that may be causing some confusion here but I'm seeing you refocused. I'm seeing you refocused on what needs to get done and you're moving through this energy into a positive abundance and moving toward the purpose that you have in mind here. So Gemini, you have a lot of different energies coming in here. I'm sensing that this week's going to be very interesting. You've got something new on the horizon here, Gemini, and it's very exciting. So refocus, realign and see what happens. I'm sending you much love and light on your journey.